Hello everyone, it's Robert here and today I'm going to guide you on how you could solve this question paper practical revision KCC 2024 computer studies. It's comprised of two questions, database and desktop publishing question as you can see on the screen. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you on how you can solve the database question. So, let's navigate here. Open a database program and create a database file named Maki. So right click on a blank area on the screen, select new and create Maki. Ensure you enable content. You have been provided with the following data in tables to en enter in a database. Study it to answer the questions that follow. We have course made up of three columns that is course ID, course name and fee and about four records we have tutors table made up of four records and also four fields that tutor id tutor name office and course id we have another table made up of trainee id trainee name and course id trainee has got four trainees here and then we have fee payment made up of several records and three fields uh course id here will be the primary key tutor id primary key here trainee ID primary key but in our fee paying payment we don't have a primary field because we can see some duplication of records in trainee ID likewise in course ID and amount paid so we can say that any of these will be primary key so the next question is create tables with appropriate field and data types set primary key field for each table where applicable so how do we do this let's commence by creating course table so to create a table to create a table go to create tab click it and select table design then from that point you start typing the field names that is we have course id we have course name and apart from that, we have fee. In this case, course ID is a text since it is a combination of numbers and text. Course name is also a, shape, a text, but course fee, we can set it as a number. Primary field should be the course ID since it uniquely represents each record. And save it as, what's the name of this one? Course. And once you are done with creating this table, you close table 2, go to table design and start typing tutor ID followed by tutor name followed by office and followed by course ID. Course ID is a short text office is at now is also a text even though you can also set it as a number there's no problem with that and then of tutor name as a text and also this one as a text primary key is the tutor id save this as tutor once you're done close the table the that table is about trainees so we shall be having trainee id we have training name we have course id primary field here will be the trainee id trainee name is a short text followed by course id short text save this as trainee and the last table is about fee payment to create it go to create tab then table design then type trainee id course id and amount paid amount paid remember will be a number since so in this case we don't have a unique you are row called record therefore we just save it and okay save give it a name fee payment then save there is no primary key. Do you want to create a primary key? No, I just want to save without primary key. Then save it. So that's how you create the tables. 
Now, the next question is, create appropriate relationships among the tables. Go to database tools and then relationship. Double click to add each table in your computer. And then after that, space them for quick linking. A primary key, okay, a relationship can only be created when one of the field is a primary key and the other one is a foreign key. For example, we have tutor ID here. Then we also have another, we don't have another tutor. We have trainee ID here and again trainee ID. So you can join the two and then enforce referential integrity. Create. Again, we have course ID and we have course ID here. So join the two and then enforce referential integrity. Create. Then again, we have course ID here and another course ID. Therefore, join the two and false referential integrity by clicking. Uh, we also have course ID here and course ID, but you cannot link these two because none of them is a primary field. So you link course ID with the other course ID here. So join the two here, enforce referential integrity, and on clicking, you after that you have to save save relationship then you close now after that create a form named trainees form that would be used to enter data in the trainees table and add the following in the form so create a form you can just create a form using form wizard and then it is for trainees table add all of these records here a fields then choose any of these formats and name it as trainees form. After that, finish. The instruction is that form heading should be 15 and bold face. So right click the table and modify the form and modify this. First of all, I've been told it should be fold and the number here should be 15. Press enter. So that's the requirement. We have already made it. Save. The other instruction about the trainee form is command button for addition and deletion. Again, I'm going to add two buttons here in this form. You can add them just immediately below this and add a button for adding. Go to record operation and this one should add record and then finish or else you can also remove just add it like this way this is about record operation next we want to use the text add next and then you finish the other one is for deletion record operation delete record next use the text instead and then you finish and that's how you add the buttons and then you close by saving this doc uh, form You'll find that it is easy to add and delete values by use of this form. Close. The next table is enter da the data into respective tables. Let's start with course ID. We're going to enter data in course in the courses by typing all the courses here. So I'm gonna pause my video and type the data in the course table. So once you're done with entering data for this table, we ought to close it, save the changes, then open the other table, which is about tutor. And you can see that the tutors here, we have tutor one up to tutor four. And then their course ID, we have zero, one, two, four, and five. Yet here we have one, two, three, and four. So there will be a conflict here because you don't have tutor four. And how are we going to solve it? Let us see. So 4872 and the course ID is C05. However, C05 is not in my course data. You cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in course table. And it is true, we don't have C05 in course table. Therefore, to avoid this error, okay, in many cases, you'll find that uh, you'll not face this error because expecting that the value here 
the values in course ID here should be in this course table here. But in this case, I don't know whether it was a mistake or what. But anyway, because you cannot omit some of these values, in order to solve this problem, you can just, and first of all, let me just uh, add a value, a, good, a value like this, and then save. Then close the table and go back to relationships. And therefore, I'll now check the relationship between tutor and course. Tutor and course. And modify the relationship by right-clicking it and disable referential integrity like this. Then click OK and close. Now, if I go to tutor again and type C05, the value will be accepted because the referential integrity is disabled. All right, let's go to the next table, which is about trainee. In trainee, we have about four trainees here, and I'm going to add the data here. And in this case, we won't face any problem because you can see we have C01 to C04, and they are already here. So I'm going to pause my video. So upon entering data in that table, need to close it and then go to the last table is about fee payment and start typing the data as it is tr4 and this is c04 and this is 300 question c create a query to create a query go to create tab then choose query design add all the tables by double clicking each of them so this query should display a list of all trainees and the name of the code they enrolled with. So you can get the trainee name and the course name they are enrolled with. And therefore, if I run it, I'll be able to get all. Let me save this query as trainees query. That is the requirement, trainees query. If you want to check the sql view here is the sql view of the query question next display the course name okay another query add all the tables and then we need list course okay display the course name to add the course name here course name and the fees for the course and the fees where is that and the fees for the course whose id is c02 so we should also add the course id here and run this query but i see all the courses here save this as c02 and then we need the course whose id is c02 so under the criteria section, you type the criteria you want, C02. Save and run the query again. But the requirement is that we don't need to display the, uh, the, the course ID. Therefore, we're going to hide the course ID and run the query and save it. And then the last question is compute at query which will compute total amount paid by each trainee so create a query and this query should compute total amount paid by each trainee so we have trainee id trainee name and the amount they paid by running this query we shall see all the trainees and the amount they paid save this as fee the trainees total query but we want to find the total amount paid by each of them. So we're going to add another function, another feature known as totals, and then we group by sum, and then run. Therefore, we'll get the three trainees here and the total amount of money they paid. So that's how you do these queries. The next question is about create a report that summarizes the fee payment made by each trainee include trainee id so to do this go to create tab get a report wizard and then the requirement is we need trainee id trainee name and total amount paid trainee id 
get it from the table direct we have trainee id trainee name then from the payment table we get the amount paid and next what else are we told order the reports record by the total amount paid from the highest to lowest so we're going to make some order in here what do you want to add any grouping no i want to sort by amount in descending order then next and then you finish and here is our report but the question is we need to know the amount paid by each of these people if for example it's baraka we can we want to see the total is 1700 aisha want to see 1200 plus 900 so to do this right click and go to design view then click group and sort from this new command button here click more and then under with no totals click it and we want totals in what amount paid and the formula here to be used is a sum function and we want to show subtotal in group footer subtotal then after that open the report in maybe print or report view and you'll be able to see the amount here the amount is hidden so let us modify the field size by increasing them like this i have opened this in layout view so that i may be able to see so open again in print preview and you'll be able to see the total amount paid this amount Then the formula here. So here is the total amount paid by each employee or trainee. So the next question is about format the report created as follows. Title is trainee's payment. To change this one, design view and then. Then after that you double click the heading. trainee payment then the other part it is about your index number your index number to add your index number you need to check under the group footer the report footer here and instead of having this now and the page number we can have your index number here Once you are done, you can save your report, close all, and check the last question is about printing. And in order to print, all you need to do is to double click a table, go to file, print, print preview, and choose the layout. If this layout is okay, you can just print choosing your appropriate printer here. So that marks the end of this tutorial. If you find this helpful, let me know through the comment section. Let me also know through the like button. And then, let's meet the next videos about um, desktop publishing.